All right, hello everyone. We are going to get back into things here with some more Tor 7. And here you see one of the new Juniper holes. Very, very challenging hole. And a uh, couple different ways I play this. Uh, one of the biggest shot advices I can give you guys for this hole is to probably use a Kingmaker. Uh, I really hate that they have these holes in Tor 7. They are far too hard for Tor 7. So these are really going to be the one holes where I actually, you know, ball up a little bit. And here you're going to see me just kind of maybe use right around one backspin or so and kind of set up short here. Um, now, I'm only using only one backspin because it's into the wind. Otherwise, I'd use, you know, a little bit more. I'm going to use about a, a bullseye's worth of uh, aim, which is about five rings for a 7.6 wind. It's a little bit of an overplay and just keep in mind that I'm just kind of you know spinning it up towards the edge of the fairway there with a layup and this is kind of the angle that I like to come in uh, on this hole um, just to kind of get it a little bit more towards the hole a little bit farther um, you can always beat it up uh, a little bit more um, and the, the biggest reason to use a Kingmaker here is because we don't know what the second wind's going to be like and that extra distance can really come into play. So it stinks that we have to waste, uh, you know, Kingmaker some good balls on Tour 7. But if you want to win this outright or get Eagle to ensure shootout, it's just kind of something that you really should be doing. You know, this guy putting himself at a Katana distance can, be, can make or break him in this hole. Um, it really relies on hitting a nice tee shot and also getting a good win being back a little bit shorter. Um, it can be much less manageable for my opponent as opposed to me. And here we did get a good wind. You can see the wind's not going to come into play too much here. And we're just going to try more than anything just to kind of groove it right here. So that's exactly what you're going to see me do, um, which is going to be kind of right in here. And that's exactly what I want to do. You know, time and time again, you're just gonna see me groove it right in the center of the fairway here, just with a little bit of left curl, not very much, just to kind of promote it, to keep it away from that, uh, keep it away from going in that bunker. So here, you're just gonna see me groove it up here, through here, make sure that it comes down that hill, and it looks like it's just going to make it. As soon as it gets down there, it feeds towards the hole, and it makes the putt that much easier. And, you know, like I mentioned, you know, you never know what kind of wind you're going to get for a second wind. My opponent did kind of get slightly bailed out here, but not, I, I didn't know he was playing with Guardian. So, you know, this hole specifically is one of the biggest reasons that you want to have Sniper uh, for this tour is because uh, with a Guardian, you know, this is going to be much more of a variable shot. Um, and my opponent here, as you can see, you know, very lucky uh, to get the option to... Uh, you know, have a, such a small wind to where you could just kind of groove it up through there. And I'm assuming, you know, my opponent, he's probably going to make that pitch. So it, it stinks that I'm going first. You know, I'd miss my putt intentionally to force shootout here. Um, but hopefully, you know, my opponent gets this. And I'll just roll this up in here into the cup. And we will prepare for shootout. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, until I get a nice shootout base for you guys, which I don't quite have, I'm going to divide this hole from the next hole. Um, but that's only going to be a temporary thing. Um, and then eventually, once I have enough of these done, then, uh, you know, if, if I have a lot of the winds covered, I'm just going to, you know, keep them one stream. But for now, I'm going to break these up. So if my opponent taps this in, and he did, so I'm going to cut this video off for you guys. Uh, you know, hopefully you found this video useful and uh, good luck with this haul in the future. Uh, use my tips to your advantage and uh, see you guys on the shootout.